and welcome to a new video. Welcome to a new vlog, sort of. A vlog with a very specific focus. <laughs> Definitely going to film this vlog style, but I'm rearranging my office today. I'm mildly terrified about that. This is always such a big process when I do it. I have done this a few times here on this channel. Uh, the last time was only last summer. I normally do wait until the summer because I'm stuck indoors anyway, it's so hot out, because I'm off from work, so I feel like I have time to devote to a big project like this. But like last summer, I feel like part of the problem of doing it in the summer was feeling like I had all summer to do it. It's spring break right now, so I just have one week off. It is the Monday of spring break, so I've had the weekend. Um, you'll have seen that in the last vlog. I rested on Saturday and Sunday. It was very lovely, and yeah, my plan is <laughs> to spend today doing the bulk of the rearranging and the moving things around, and then tomorrow, be putting all the little things in their new homes and stuff. So today I want to get everything pulled out of the office space and give it a good vacuum and a good clean. I want to clean off the windowsills because they haven't been cleaned properly in ages. It's been all winter and so I've had the windows open all, win all winter and there's just a lot of dust on the windowsills and probably a lot of dust like the desktops need to be dusted the shelves need to be dusted like it's gonna be a bit of a spring clean as well and the windows need to be cleaned i have not been able to access the window over my desk properly in i don't know how long probably since the last time i moved everything out so last time i did my office last summer. I didn't move everything. I moved everything on one side of the office, but my desk pretty much stayed in the same place. So this this is going to be the biggest change my office has seen in, I was trying to think about this earlier and I really can't remember. It's It's been at least five years, I think. So, and a lot of those, like, you can see what my office used to look like in the past throughout like my PhD and stuff. There has been a desk in that corner for several years now. And I have faced in that direction for se like at least five years. And I think it was sometime after my PhD. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's time for a change. It's time for a big change. I wanna really shake it up. When I read in my office last time, so why are we changing it and why are we changing it now in spring break and not waiting until summer? Basically, it's not effective anymore. When I read in my office back, it was last June that I started and then I stalled out and I didn't properly finish it until like August. And so last summer when I was working on it, I said, if you go back and watch that video, I say there are some things I'm not sure about, but I'm gonna live with it for a little while and see what I think. So one of the big changes of the last office rearranged was I shifted to an L shape with the desk because I've got two desk spaces I can work with. There are elements of the L that I really like, but there's a big con about having two desk spaces when you are someone like me. One just always becomes a catch-all, and so it always has stuff on it, and if I then want to use it, I have to take time to clean it. So I need to just not have a second desk space. I need to just have the one workspace that I have to keep clean. And I think it will be easier to keep it clean if it's the only desk space that I have. The other problem with the L is it really closes off the space. I think if if I ha if this was an actual room, so I'm gonna flip you around and show you in a minute, give you the whole before, but if you are new here, this is basically an open 
concept space. So it is a living and dining room with the kitchen right back here. A very open plan, um, floor plan. And I have uh, commandeered, like from the beginning, there has always been an office area in the dining room. I used to have the desks lining the back window and then the dining table kind of floating more in the middle. That was when I first moved in. Very quickly realized that like, I was always working at the dining table or in an armchair because my desk was too much of a pain to get to. I have decluttered and gotten rid of a lot of things over the last 10 years that I've lived here, 10 plus years, but there's still probably more things in the office space than I technically need. We're not gonna do a ton of decluttering and downsizing today. We do not have time for that because I don't I don't want this project to take up all of spring break. But it's a, so it's an open plan. Um, and by having the L shape, it cuts off the space. It it marks out the space, which is kind of nice, but it also just makes both spaces feel smaller because they don't just seamlessly flow back and forth between each other. So I want to open it all back up again. Um, I feel like I lose a lot of space in the middle here that can be used for yoga and working out in the summer, that can be used to like have a place to set up my drying rack when I'm doing laundry. So I just, yeah, it's not working. It just ends up feeling really messy and cluttered. Things tend to collect under the desk as well, the second desk, the L desk. And so, yeah, it's just, it's, it's not working. And then it's been, and because of that, it's been making it feel very uninspiring and I just don't really want to work. I just feel like I don't have a space I can just walk into and sit down and work. And I feel like because that desk keeps just collecting stuff, it does make it harder to keep on top of cleaning and tidying and keeping my desk tidy. Whereas I think if I just have the one desk, I have to keep it tidy. And I, I just think that I'm, I'm the kind of personality who, if you give me space to put stuff, I'm going to put stuff there. If you don't give me a space to put stuff, then spaces tend to keep cleaner. So we're going to open everything up. So let's flip you around. So I have started some of the process of organizing, although some of this is like, they're just, I, I get Amazon boxes that just collect under here. Tote bags just collect under here. I've emptied the trash and recycling. All of this is better than it was. And some of you are probably looking at this and breaking out in hives just at this level. So yeah, like it, it could be worse. We've got the big window here, the little window here because of this desk. I've never really been able to access that window. So it's hard to clean that window and it's hard to keep that window sill clean. And when I keep the windows open, it just gets a lot of dust back there. And so I would like to be able to access that better. Um, I love this window and this window does stay open. It's open right now. It stays open throughout most of the winter. Both of these windows do. So I don't want to block out any of these windows. I want to make use of them. We've got this kind of shelving and storage area here and then the main workspace there with my monitor and my desktop shelving. And then also there's this armchair, which I love. My family has had this since before I was born, I think, or very shortly after I was born. I stole this chair from my parents when I moved out and I love it. I never use it because I always sit on my couch. So what I'm wanting to do <laughs> is put the desk in this corner and put the chair in that corner and have a desk and reading nook kind of in the two corners with both of them being able to kind of see out that window or be by that window. This is gonna go away. This, the legs just unscrew so I can store this flat and not get rid of it completely. And then if I ever decide I want to bring it back out, put it back in play, 
I can, but at least for now we can try without it. So a lot of this stuff, I think this little shelf is just going to go away. So I'm going to have to figure out where to store everything that's on that little shelf. The bigger shelf I want to put under the window. Um, and the filing cabinet, I think, is going to go over here as well. I have a rough idea in my head of where everything's going to go. I have measured stuff. It should fit. <laughs> it should fit. I have a backup plan in case things don't fit. It is 1010 as I am starting this. I will give you an update at about noon. I think I'm going to stop at around noon and have lunch. So I am going to try to do this in like two, roughly two hour chunks. So I want to, by noon, I would like to have everything out of this space and have done cleaned out clean that window i think that's where I, i'm aiming for by noon so that afternoon when i like finish my break starting back at like one then it's moving everything back and getting it into its new position so that is our rough plan wish me luck <laughs> we will see how this goes it could be disastrous i could get 30 minutes in and regret everything. So let's go. noon. I feel like I'm slightly ahead of schedule. It's 11.25. I am in the mess. I had to come get the remote to be able to mute the TV. This is possibly, so this is possibly the most open this space has been in I don't know how long. I have run out of space at this side of the apartment to be able to move this out completely. But I have dusted along the baseboards, I've wiped some scuff marks off the walls, I have vacuumed the carpet here. So I have moved out everything from underneath the desk except for an old artist portfolio and then there's a pile of like poster board and stuff there that I need to pull out. I will extract those when I move the desk. The desk, this is just completely loose on the top so that I will lift up and then I can move each of those things separately. This window still has been cleaned. This one has not. This window has been cleaned. This one has not. <laughs> so yeah, I think my next step now is going to be to lift this up and 
move these pieces and get them in place. Then I need to vacuum and dust and clean in this corner and that window. And then I can start moving like this bookshelf and this filing cabinet I've just kind of wudged over in this general direction because they are going to go here um, with the chair in the corner and the desk there. So I think in the next 30 minutes <laughs> before my lunch break, I want to get the desk moved over. I can then bring the armchair that's back here. I think I want, in the next 30 minutes, I think I want to get at least the desk and the armchair in their new place so that I can see how that looks and see if I'm happy with it. Because the desk, it, it's, it's longer than it looks. When I measured this, when I measured the wall, when I measured the length of the desk, and when I measured the width of the chair, the desk should fit and should come to about here, which should then leave this much space to kind of fit the armchair in at a slight angle. The armchair will definitely fit if I stick it straight back, but I don't want to stick it straight back. I want it at an angle so that I can kind of see out the office window, as well as enjoy um, the fresh air and stuff like that when the window is open. Like right now I can feel a breeze coming into that window and it's amazing. So in the next 30 minutes, I want to get the desk moved around get the vacuuming, dusting, and cleaning of this corner done, and get the chair moved. I can already see there's a lot of scuff marks on this wall, on this wall as well. So I wanna get all the kind of cleaning of this corner done, and then get the armchair in place. And then if I still have a couple minutes left, when that is all done, then I can try to get this bookshelf and the filing cabinet in place, and at least start seeing what that's going to look like and how far along this wall it's going to come. Yeah, anyway, I need to stop talking and get back to doing. I now have 28 minutes before noon. <laughs> after one I've had pretty much a one hour break <laughs> it's quarter after so it was about quarter after 12 when I finally stopped I'm getting back to work so let me flip you around and show you where we finished <laughs> before lunch this is how things are looking so far if we face this way it doesn't look too bad it doesn't look too messy the monitor is actually going to be more here. This was honestly kind of what made me think that like this idea could work. Can I sit here? This was what made me think that this idea could work was because I've been resisting putting my desk facing this window because I put blackout curtains in it from about April or May is when they go up until about October, I think is when I finally take them down. The window is blacked out for half the year, basically. But I've been wanting to get a new, bigger monitor as my external monitor. And so I thought if I had a new monitor and if it was bigger, then I could have like a slideshow of beautiful outdoor scenes or something and still feel like I have a window there and I also really like the idea of having the chair the armchair here 
next to this little bookshelf and then my desk and because of the positioning of this like I can still use the edge of the desk as like a place to rest my coffee and stuff. I'm gonna have a little footstool that can go in front and so yeah I I really think I like the layout. Now the problem is this bookshelf has to come out a lot farther than I initially wanted it to. I was hoping that it would only come to here, but the chair is taking up a little bit more space than I anticipated, and the bookshelf is deeper than I was thinking. So I could I could probably wedge it over a little bit more, but like I don't want to have everything like completely wedged in because I think right now there's enough space on either side of the chair that I could pull the chair out. I can I can widget it out a bit if I needed to like get back there to clean or to do anything with the window. So like I feel like I like how this is working. There is some dead space on either side and also kind of behind. I think I might start storing my yoga mat and like my tripod like straight back there. But that's going to be it because I kind of like the feeling of openness around that. This is where the tricky part <laughs> begins, to be honest. I know there's still more stuff in my office than what I want. Today and tomorrow is not about decluttering and downsizing. It was really just about moving things into the new place and letting it start to feel more airy and open, which it already is. Like I can see through the mess and I can see how much more open it's going to feel. Um, so I'm gonna start. <laughs> I was gonna go hiking later this afternoon. I don't think that's going to happen as much as I would love to because I hate wasting a beautiful day and not going hiking. But A, I think I'm too tired. I've already had enough of a workout of doing all of this and I, I need to make more progress. Like I don't wanna leave it at quite this level of chaos. Um, I can access the couch, I can sit down, but like it's it's a mess and I, I want to fix that. If I don't go hiking, I will be able to make more progress because I could then work until like four or even five. I don't know, like it, it, it's such a beautiful day. So it is still tempting to go out for even just a short hike, but I want to work for at least another two hours if not three or more and like I said it's about now 25 after one so I want to work for at least another two hours hopefully longer we'll see what I'm feeling and I'm just gonna start putting stuff back but my rule is I'm only putting stuff back that I know for sure I want to keep in the office space and in the desk area. Anything that I I feel like I might be ready to get rid of, anything that I feel like could just be stored in a better different space if I could make room for it in the laundry room or somewhere else in the apartment, I'm not gonna put those things back. So by the end of today, there's, there's still gonna be a mess. There just is. I'm mentally accepting and preparing for that. There's still going to be a mess. This is not going to be a finished perfect reveal at the end of this vlog, but it should be a manageable mess. We'll see. But yeah, enough rambling. This is where we're at. I do, like, when I look here, I'm really happy. I think having the armchair here is going to be really nice. I think the desk is going to work. I was texting with a friend earlier and I said, I'm, I'm either brilliant or I've lost my mind in choosing to do this now. And she brought up the point, which was one of the things I was thinking of that like, it's a trial run. If it doesn't work, then in seven and a half weeks when I'm on summer break, I can change it again. So like, if I decide I want to move down to the smaller desktop, this is why I'm not going to get rid of that second desk. I'm just going to unscrew the legs. So if I decide I want to swap out the desk tops that I use 
I still have it and I could downsize to a smaller desk. So yeah, that's that's where we're at. But I need to get the music turned on and get back to work. I've actually made a lot more progress than I was anticipating so that's kind of exciting let me turn on the dining room slash office lights I never turn those on but it will give us some more light so by the front door all that's left that's not supposed to be there is a big bag of trash a big bag of recycling and then a pile of stuff that needs to go to Goodwill so I will probably haul all of that out tomorrow. I have another stack of Amazon boxes that will probably get added to the recycle pile. They were the boxes that were holding all of the candles and loose bits from my desk and the shelves. So the front still, the, hall, the front entryway still looks like a mess, like more of a mess than usual, <laughs> but that will kind of all go away pretty quickly tomorrow. I just want to know that I've gone through everything here, like in this space, and that I don't need the recycle bag or the trash bag, and that there's nothing else immediately that I want to take to Goodwill. So of the mess we're left with, <laughs> and I'll back up a little bit, this is how the office is looking so far. So ignore the mess for a minute. Just focus on the actual furniture. When you come in from between the bookshelf and the couch, you kind of now have a choice when you get to this play, this area to either continue around into the living room or to keep walking forward into the office. I now have a ton of space, or I will once all of this gets cleaned up, to put out my yoga mat, to... I don't know, do cartwheels. Like, I, should, I feel like I just, it feels so much more open now and I love it. This is kind of the mess situation that we still have. So over here, these two boxes are probably gonna stay for a while. These are empty electronics boxes that I like to keep until I no longer have that electronics item. Does anyone else obsessively keep um, packaging of your laptops and tablets and things like that. All my cameras, <laughs> things like that. And then the other box is camera equipment. So chargers and extra batteries and most of it for my old cameras, but I still have all of those. So these need to be gone through and probably condensed and stuff like that, but I'm leaving them for now. There's some reorganizing I'm doing in my bedroom and I think eventually I will have room in there to move these two boxes so I'm going to condense them go through them at some point make sure I'm only keeping what I need to keep and then I can move the boxes into the other room the printer stand which is a really lovely marble table <laughs> is probably just going to stay here because it works really well I've got my old printer which is also a scanner underneath, and I still use that scanner. I don't want to just get rid of that. The extra desk is just kind of propped up back here. It's kind of like you kind of don't notice it. And then my dry erase board and an old poster board that I was using as a Kanban board are tucked back here. Both of those might end up going to Goodwill at some point. 
I just never seem to use dry erase boards, but they're tucked back there and out of the way for now. Over here, this is the pile of stuff I still need to go through. So on top of this, I really just want to have this is going to stay here. I don't have anywhere else I can put this. So the plan is to have this be, and I'm just totally making stuff up as I go along, but have it be a transitional piece from office to living room. So it will have storage. It will be functional. I think down on the bottom shelf on this side, I want to be able to put in my like dumbbells and exercise bands and stuff like that. Um, but on top, I really just want like a small stack of books, a candle jar maybe, and then um, I want to finally assemble. This was a Christmas gift, so I've put it on my list for spring break to assemble this. And I think that would look really cute on this shelf in front of the blinds and the window. The filing cabinet then is kind of over here, and then this bookshelf Right now I have all my books are kind of behind it. I have more copies of my books, so they might end up stacked partially on the side. I'd like to kind of get all of my extra copies all together instead of spread between different places. And then on the top, I've got a little thing of flowers. This is probably going to stay like this for the foreseeable future. I've got planners. This is 2020. 2021, 22, and 23. And then these are all my books that I have published. All of my novels, my master's thesis, my PhD dissertation, and then these are two edited collections that I have a chapter published in. And then this is my research journal for my dissertation, so I thought it would look good kind of on that stack. And then the desk is of the last thing so this is still a work in progress as well but i've got my little desktop shelves in the corner and then the monitor and then my squirrel lamp this will live somewhere but just fyi this is usually my tripod when i'm sitting at my desk so i will just grab out a smaller candle jar and stack it on top and then rest the camera on top so this will just like move around and live in different places you never see it on the desk because it's always holding the camera um and then we've got the reading nook so i've got a little footstool got the chair got some pillows a throw blanket i have shoved for now my tripod and my yoga mat and the four legs to that one Ikea table are all in that back corner so they are out of the way um, and you really can't see them so yeah and then I have a standing I've got a little desktop fan back there as well so it's out of the way but it's here if I need it so this is where we are still a mess <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it could be worse so and honestly it's way better than I thought it was going to be see this is what I do stack a candle and the tripod or the water bottle and boom I've got a tripod that I don't have to screw my camera into so yeah for a spur of the moment decision I like that you can see the fireplace and like at Christmas time, you'll also be able to see the Christmas tree back there. Like this, this could be really good. I love that I can still see out this window. So I can kind of just turn and rest and see my favorite tree. I feel like I have more of a view of it from here. I've kind of kept the blinds of this window half closed and I kind of like that. I can see, I can still see the tree out this window, but I can't see everybody walking by and they can't see me. And I really kind of like that. <laughs> I don't feel as like as much of being in a fishbowl here. I can still see out the window. I can still open these blinds more and see the sky above the monitor. I'm kind of leaving, the desktop could change. The desktop could change quite a bit still because it's gonna depend on the new monitor I get 
how that fits because it is going to be bigger i want a bigger monitor i can't go that big but it's going to be probably i'm thinking at least 50 percent bigger than this monitor and so i might need to go back to how these two shelving units were where they were tipped the long way up right now i've got them this way instead of this way i can tip them both up in the other direction and then they wouldn't come out this far it would then end kind of here so that might give me more space for the monitor but for now this works for now i've got everything i need in front of me my shelves are nice and organized but i have all my pretty things all my happy things are visible and accessible i'm really happy with it i mean again it's, it's like new and it's 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 novel it's it's different so i think that is a huge part of it we'll see how functional it ends up being there are some things i'm less happy with like it remains to be seen how i'm gonna feel kind of facing into this corner and having part of this window blocked off with the monitor but again in just a month or so I'm going to be putting up the blackout curtain. At that point, I think having the monitor kind of taking over this corner will be a good thing. Next spring, I can always try to downsize even more and get rid of one of these storage units and then having the monitor taking up more of this space and having the other side of the desk more open and, and, and viewable increasing the view out the window i've got kind of the spring and summer or the rest of the spring and all summer to figure out how i want the desktop to actually be because i probably could downsize to just one of these little shelf things on top of the desk um, and then i could just donate the other one so yeah i was gonna spread this into tomorrow but i think i have more than filled up a whole vlog and i don't know how much work i'm going to do tomorrow on the office so you might just see the rest of things in the next few vlogs i think the pile of stuff i still need to go through i just need to consolidate some things probably donate some stuff and then figure out where i want things to live i have lost some of the storage space that i use so that's going to be a little bit tricky but overall i really like the new layout and so even though it means losing some shelving and some shelf top space to store things and stack things i, I think it's going to be for the better so I will figure out where to put the stuff I really want to keep. I'm still kind of cleaning and organizing this bookshelf here and freeing up some space on that. So some stuff might just get stacked and waited to be put there. Yeah, I feel like what I'm probably going to do tomorrow is just sort through this remaining pile of stuff, consolidate the piles, organize them a little bit more and probably stack things with these boxes here so that everything is like contained and out of the way and then i can take my time to really figure out where i want things to live but i do feel like this is the layout i want these are the shelving and file cabinets and things that i want in this space and so everything else is going to have to fit where it fits or it's gonna have to go somewhere else either another room or out of this apartment so i think i am gonna wrap up this vlog this might be a bonus video on friday so if it was surprise <laughs> you will continue to see the rest of the office play out in the future vlogs i will definitely show you as i continue cleaning stuff up and organizing things in the next vlog or two but we're just gonna play with this and see how it goes so yeah, I, I will deal with that. <laughs> I will deal with that. But I'm just gonna, like, I, I wanna spend more time this week editing and reading in my little new reading chair. I just think it's gonna be really nice to have this here, have this armchair here. 
So yeah, it's, this is, this is just what we're working with for now and we'll see how it goes and I need to try to find my new monitor and get that ordered because I think that will also make this space more interesting. I can't believe I got this far in one day. I really, really can't. So I'm very, very happy. This is much, much farther than I expected to get in one day. So I think tomorrow I can just spend an hour containing the chaos moving things out of the way to deal with them another day and then get back to just enjoying spring break and not doing anything. So yeah, yay. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. I know this has not been the best office renovation vlog or office redo vlog, but like, you guys might not think it's much, but I'm ecstatic. I'm really, really happy. So yeah, give the vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know, do you frequently or infrequently rearrange your space? I don't, I've never rearranged my office as much as I have here, but I've never lived somewhere for as long as I've lived in this apartment. I've always just moved. And so then that's a whole new office. So, yeah, let me know. I would love to know. Do you re rearrange things frequently or not? And yeah, I'm going to go get on with enjoying the rest of my Monday evening, and I will see you all very soon in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye! Yeah.